Mothers enunciate <laughs> in public. They talk to you like you cannot understand English. <laughs> Put that down. <laughs> and when I tell you something, I mean for you to do what I said. Do you hear me talking to you? And mothers know how to grab you too, see? That's another thing. Nobody ever really watches, man. When you watch your mother grab a child and yank that arm, it is special, man. They go whack, and the kid never goes ahead. Of your mother. See, fathers cannot yank, because fathers don't know how to do it. Fathers say, like, come here, and the kid slip out of the hand and go through the window. What happened to our child? I don't know. Kid went crazy, jumped right through the window. See, and another thing is fathers, when they get tired of you, man, they, they tell you to go to your mother, you know. So, where's your mother? She's in it. Well, go on and see your mother. Don't come in here with that. Why are you bothering me like that? Go, go, go do that to your mother. Mothers cannot stand your room. That's the biggest hassle I ever had in my life was the, the room. Come up and open the door and you've been in your room for eight hours. There's nothing wrong with your room as far as you can see. Everything's just where you put it. Look at this room. This is a pig sty. Now you get this room cleaned up right now or so help me, I will beat you to death. <laughs> now that's another thing. The way mothers talk, now usually the FCC is talking about violence <laughs> on TV. If they heard your mother, they'd take her out of the living room. I mean, because mothers can talk up some violence, man. You know, I will beat you within an inch of your life. Can you believe that, man? That she's gonna beat you until you are this far? And then stop. I will knock your brains out. Now that is horrible, man. She's gonna hit you in the head and your brains are gonna fall out on the floor. I always wonder what would happen if I went to the store and got some calves brains and kept them in a bag and one day she hit me and I just throw them on the floor. <laughs> and then walk around the room. <laughs> Knowing my mother, she'd have no more. Pick those brains up and put them back in your head and don't you let your brains fall out of your head again. I will knock you into the middle of next week. Please do, because I'm having a rough time this week. One of the most frightening things I ever heard from my mother was, you know, I'll knock the black off you. And don't ask me to help you put it back on. It's your black and it fell off. Now you find out how to put it back on. And then when they beat you, they want to have a conversation with you. What did I tell you? And, and hit you on each syllable too, man. Didn't I say not to go out there in that rain, jumping in those puddles? <laughs> Mothers will hit you for nothing too, man. My mother couldn't hit my brother Russell. Cause Russell just move all over the place. Boy. <laughs> Russell was fast, she up in the air, whew. and me and Bob just sitting on the sofa watching the beating. We wasn't laughing or nothing. She turned on us, and don't you sit there watching me miss him. Me and Bob got the hint. We jumped on Russell and held him down.
<laughs> and I love it when they forget your name. They named you and they forget, come here, Roy, uh, Richard, uh, Rutabaga, what is your name, boy? And don't lie to me, because you live here and I'll find out who you are. Sick of you. Sick. Weird. See, fathers, you know your father's going to kill you. It's just something about the way they talk to you. You know, I brought you in this world, I'll take you out. <laughs> <laughs>